Early this morning before the sunrise, I found the first of the viable self-pollinated American chestnuts. I find this rather quizzical in its irony because I just made a new episode yesterday talking about how I was going to be searching for these incredibly rare, <laughs> maybe not that rare, self-pollinated clone chestnuts of the Miracle Sisters tree. And here it is. But this shows to go you how important the search is bright and early before the sun rise, before the lazy rodents wake up. I beat them to this one. So I thought I would show you how simple it is to stratify these. What I have here is my lucky coconut oil jar filled with sawdust from my red pine trees. There's a chemical in the resin of pine that slows down the development process. We don't want this to develop too quickly and get screwed up over the seasons of the years. We want it to emerge close to springtime. And this helps to do that. And so now all I have to do is to, oh, one other point. If you're going to be doing this yourself, not just with American chestnuts, which are incredibly rare, at least for now, but with anything else that needs that delay, make sure that the source for your sawdust is organic. Don't use sawdust from treated lumber because that is poisonous. And that's the last thing you want to do is poison your precious seed. So now I take this beautiful chestnut and I just stick it in just a little bit, maybe about a few centimeters, bury it in that. And now I just add some water because we don't want it to dry out. So I'm adding a fair amount of water because this sawdust is bone dry and it will absorb all of this water quite easily. And then put the lid on quite loose. Turn it so that it's tight and then turn it back just so that I can lift the jar from it. That way it's not going to get moldy in there. And then I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and I'm going to check on it perhaps once a month just to make sure that there's still some moisture in there because a refrigerator is a dehumidifier naturally. And so I might have to add a little bit of moisture to it once or twice until I pull it out as I do each year on Valentine's Day. That seems to be the magic time when they start to sprout. So there we have it. The incredible miracle, a certified clone of the Miracle Sisters chestnut tree and proof that wherever you find an American chestnut tree that's somehow struggling against the blight, such as the grandmother tree, which just succumbed this year, but she struggled against that blight for probably 10 years. And so it's important to look and search. I searched through over a hundred chestnuts this morning to find this one. And if that's the only one I find for this whole season, then mission accomplished, baby. But I have a feeling that this is just the first of many. So it's time to put this in the refrigerator.